So hey guys, what's up? So welcome to World News 28 News Channel. So let's talk about meat, virtual human neon. Among the most discussed new concept at the annual consumer electronics show in Las Vegas this year was neon. The first project of the Samsung Tail Apps neons are being called the world's first artificial humans. They look and behave like little real humans and could one day develop memories and emotions. Two from a behind a forecast display won't be wrong to call them a life size human of thoughts and maybe a human interface for whatever you want to do with the technology style apps is added by the india born scientist pranam mystery who underlines that what was showcased at ces was a product of just four months we work most was uh, president and ceo of the style apps was earlier behind a lot of the products that released by the samsung including the galaxy girls Smartwatches, Tile Labs is Samsung Technology and Advanced Research Labs, not to be confused with the fictional labs of the DC Comics, an independent project funded by the core and tech giant. So what are Neons? The company said Neons are computationally created virtual humans. The world drives from the Neon, New plus Human. For now, the virtual humans can show emotions when manually controlled by the creators. But the idea is for Neons is to become intelligent enough to be fully autonomous showing emotions, learning skills, creating memories, and being intelligent on their own style of things, then they can be friends, collaborators, and companions, but all this is a few years away. At the CES, the idea was to showcase the concept to the world. How does the Neons work? Mystery started work on the Neons by trying to replicate a friend. Initially, the models were trained on his face and there were significant errors, but then they started getting better, almost indistinguishable from the original. Mystery said that there are two core technologies behind this virtual humans. First, there was the property of the core of free technology that drives the reality, real time, and responsiveness. Behind the Neons, the company claims the core of free leapfrogs in the domains of the behavioral neural networks, evolutionary generative intelligence, and the computation reality and essentially trained on how humans work and behave and attract but in that it is like the rendition engine and converting the mathematical models to look like the actual humans at the moment the tendency for response is less than a few milliseconds core r3 can also connect to other domain specific and value added services like the language case the next stage will be spectra which will complement the core r3 with the spectrum of the intelligence learning emotions and memory but the spectra is still in development and it's not expected Neon World 2020 this year. Core R3 is the front end reality engine that is able to give you real expression. My Neon right now doesn't know when to smile. When you come tomorrow and talk to a Neon, you, they don't know that you were here yesterday. Mr. to explain the spectrum of the emotions and the knowledge will come only when the Neons are actually in the field. Mystery says this is the layer of the spectrum will enable. Mystery thinks uh, with with initial focus on the B to B scenarios, you will get more time to work on the tech that are solved for the complex memory. Well, how could the neons be used? If Mr. sees a world in which the neons are the interference for technology and services, they will answer your queries at a bank and welcome you at a restaurant or read out the breaking news on television that are unearthly hour. Mr. says this form of the virtual assistance will be more effective. For example, why teaching language is that news will be capable of understanding and sympathizing. However, Mr. is clear that a physical form of this neon is not possible in the near future. I don't think that we are anywhere close to having the physical embodiment of the neons in the next 25 or 30 years old, so he doesn't do want to enable neons on existing robots. But wouldn't mind collaborating with the companies like the Google and Facebook and the battle that I work in the similar fields. How are neons different from the virtual system? Virtual systems now learn from all the data that are plugged into the neons will be limited to what they know and learn. Their learning could be potentially be limited to the person they're catering to and maybe their friends, but not the entire internet. There will not be an interference for you to request a song rather than be a friend or speak to a share experience with the style apps. Unlike the deep fake style apps, the core outfit doesn't manipulate any scene videos or sequence, instead, creates unique behaviors and interaction in real time. Core outfit creates new reality, it says. What about personal data with the neon? This trade doesn't want with the news to have a collective memory so as to share the data among the themselves. So, what is known to be the one neon cannot be the useful for another. My network is a small network that can live in the panel. Mystery said, underlining the difference between his plan and what has been saying so far among the other internet based companies. Also, Style Up says no one expects you and your neon can ever have access to your interactions, and that your private data will never be shared with your permission. So, what next for the neon? Style as well is talking of launching a beta later this year and claims it flooded with the queries. 
from potential partners you could find in yours trying to chat you on an airport screens or bank lobby soon. Mistress says he does not envision of physical for his news and anyway that the technology is not in the realm of the possible in his lifetime. So if you like the channel so kindly subscribe to it.